my YouTube channel. My name is Amy Yuen. Um, and today I'll be showing you guys how to do this oh so very glowy everyday makeup tutorial that you can either dress up or dress down. If you're new to my channel, please do hit the subscribe button down below. I'm just trying to get to 100 subscribers so I can change my YouTube link. That's my goal for right now. So hit that and then let's get started and head on to the makeup tutorial. Okay, so let's get started. First off, I'm gonna start with my primer. Today I am using the Too Faced Hangover RX primer. So I'm gonna squeeze them onto my hand here. And let's apply it. So I just got this primer in the Sephora sale and I love it so much already. Just cause it's a very hydrating primer. And today I'll be using my Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay In Place Foundation. I bought this foundation from Coachella and I've been loving it ever since. Um, the only downside of this foundation is that it doesn't come with a pump. So what I do is I just take like a concealer brush and just dip it on in and apply that all over my face. I'm just going to brush that all over my face and also down my neck as well because I have a pretty bad tan line on my neck. Taking a damp beauty blender, I'm just gonna blend that on out. And blending down my neck as well. Next, I like to go in with a concealer just to highlight my under eyes as well as conceal them. My favorite concealer at the moment is the ColourPop No Filter Concealer. This is in shade light 18, and I'm just gonna go ahead and apply this under my under eyes. I was like applying a pretty generous amount. I'm also gonna take this down the bridge of my nose as well. top of my lip, like not on my lip, but like the mustache or anything, you know, and then some on my chin as well. Basically you just want to highlight all the high points of your face with a lighter color so that when you blend it out it creates like a gradient where it goes from light to dark and the lighter parts are the higher points of your face. Next, I like to go in with just some bronzer. Um, I also use this the contour of my face as well. So I am using the Hoola bronzer from Benefit and then the It brushes in the brush 315, which is the Velvet Luxe Soft Sculpting Brush. So what I do is I just go in and pick up some product onto the brush and then I use a mirror on the other side just to like get some of the excess product off as well. And what I like to do for my cheeks is just angle the uh, tip of the angle towards the top of my ear and then kind of just pat on product or like on my cheekbone above the hollows of my cheek. to the fuse the edges, I just like to use whatever is left on the brush at the very end and just blend out the top edge and the bottom edge of that contour. Now going in and picking up some more product, I'm going to apply it to the temples of my forehead, just right above that, and just kind of pat it in as well. 
bring it up to the corner of my head. Slowly patting it into my hairline. Do the same for the other side. And also taking it more onto the brush and contouring my jawline, bringing it from the very calm corner of my jawline out into my chin using very light strokes. This gives you the illusion that you have a sharper jawline. And then another trick I like to do is just take some of my product, um, take off the excess like I've been doing, and just patting it onto my eyelids. It just gives you a very sun-kissed and natural look. And I also like the fact that it makes my eyes a little more sunken in too. I don't know why I like that look. Just because my face is decently flat. If you just bring that and drag it onto your temples too, it sometimes gives you a more snatch look as well. And to contour my nose, what I've been doing is just using my brush I got from my Lorac contour kit. It's just like a flat, um, dense brush. And it kind of has like a pointed angle. So it ha it's like a dome shape, but there's two, two edges to it, you know. And what I do is just dip it into the Hoola bronzer as well, take off the excess off, kind of make sure that the product is just on one side of the brush and just go in and tap that edge onto one side of my nose, just very gently creating a straight line right down the side of my nose. This is a super easy way to contour your nose if you're a beginner. And don't worry too much if it's kind of harsh right now, we'll blend it up. brush and apply it to the very tip of your nose, pushing it up and outwards. It just contours the tip of your nose, bringing it, snatching it inwards, and it gives you a cute little point in this look. Lifting the nose a little bit. And also taking whatever's left on the brush, I also like to contour the sides of my nose. This helps really snatch the nose in and create the illusion of a really cute, small, pinky tiny nose that people get plastic surgery. with a pretty productless brush. I just go back in and kind of make little small circular movements with my hands and just blend up the edges of that contour. Also bringing it downwards. Alright, that's looking pretty good and blended out. Um, next I'm going to take a my JD Weighty um, Luxie 182 brush. This is a nose contouring brush as well, but I haven't been using this as often. What I like to use is just the smaller side, the smaller angled side of the brush, the denser side. Dip into the Hula bronzer. Ooh, I've just hit pan on this, guys. And cutting the tip of my nose, creating the illusion that my nose is very rounded and cute, like a button nose. So what I do is just go in and cut the tip of my nose with that edge and kind of blend it around so that it forms like a circular shape. You can also use the fluffy side too to blend up the harshness to create a really cute buttony nose. All right, and now we have our contour down. I'm just gonna go in and now I'm gonna go in and bake my face using the Beauty Bakery Flower in the shade Translucent and my Morphe sponge. I'm just gonna go in with the sharp edge, dip it into the product. Uh, I like to pick up a lot here, and then pat it. So what you wanna do is draw a line from the, t the corner of your ear down to the corner of your mouth. And from there, I'm just gonna pat in some product, defining my contour line. Really 
you just want to pat product into your face here. And using the edge of the sponge as well, dipping a little more product, um, tapping the sides off. I'm going to go in and add some powder to the center of my nose as well. And you want to make it like as straight as a little line of cocaine. I am kidding, but yeah, you want to make it really straight. Pat some on my chin as well. Just make sure product stays on there when I eat later in the day. For now, I'm going to go in and do my brows. See, last time I filmed this tutorial, my brows were uneven, so I'm going to try to do them a little more evenly today. I groomed my brows last night, so hopefully that helps. We're going to try our best. Okay. Try my best for even brows, and they're probably not gonna happen, but you know what? I don't care anymore. The brows are almost in my past now. I'm getting them tattooed on my face on June 17th. That's right, I'm getting my, my brows microbladed so that they're no longer a problem in my life because drawing them in and making sure they're even is like the hardest thing ever for me. And it takes way too long, way too much of my time. Um, the longest part of my makeup is probably just applying my fucking brows. So, yeah, we'll try our best today um, to make them even. They might not be, but you know what? Whatever. We're not going to care about them. We're not going to spend too much time on them, so let's go. Using the Goof Proof Brow... Goof Proof... I can't say my Fs. Goof Proof Brow Pencil in 3.5. I'm going to go in and just kind of line the underneath of my brows first, just making sure that they have an even angle. Extra hard today because my pencil is broken. You can see on the tip, there's no tip anymore. It makes it a little harder to draw this in. I really want to just do little light strokes at first. You really want your arch to be rounded too. It gives you a friendlier look to your face. I don't like arches with like, you know, like a bent like a 90 degree arch or something, no, that doesn't look good for your face. Have it be rounded, have it frame your eyes very nicely. to the sides of the brush just so you can keep like a straight angle. I'm going to go in and define my brows by adding little hair strokes um, to where that's needed. Just throughout my brow. Tiny little hair strokes in the direction of your hair growth. This 
what helped create a super realistic looking brow. And then add some hair strokes at the very front just to create a very natural look. I'd say that's pretty good. If it's uneven, whatever. This is gonna be the best it's gonna be. Take a look. Those are the brows. What do you think? I'm just gonna brush off the um, baking powder with my Tarte stippling brush. As you can see, my contour looks a lot less crazy now when I have my brows on. Brows, frame your face, so when you have no brows, you look like Voldemort and it looks a little cray cray. But yeah, now that helps. And now what I like to do is apply the glow. My first highlighter I like to go in is with this Laura Mercier. This is the Face Illuminator in Indiscretion. It's just super pretty. I got this product sent to me. Thank you, Laura Mercier. But yeah, I'm gonna go in with this fluffy Morphe E61 brush gonna like powder that brush up super good. This is a super pretty highlighter. It's not super strong. It's very fine. It's almost, it doesn't have any glitter in it, but it's just a nice rose gold tone. So when it goes through your skin, it really gives you that nice wet look without looking too sparkly. What I'm gonna do is just apply this onto the high points of my cheek. Slowly brushing that out. Do really nice, just very expensive. Okay, this is actually just the first base of highlighter too. I'm gonna go take that and apply it to the temples of my forehead. I watch a makeup tutorial with Fenty's makeup artist, and she says when you bring out the highlighter onto the sides of your face, it just makes it look super natural, super wet super luxurious, like that look where you have when you're on like a yacht and you're just glowing. Head of your forehead, temples as well. I like to bring some on to very lightly the center of my forehead. And then just dash a little onto my cupid's bow. our first layer of highlight on. I like to go in with my second highlighter. Okay, this is really sad because this is like my all-time favorite highlighter. And I read the freaking back of this last time I did this makeup tut tutorial. And I noticed the ingredients has parabens in it and I'm so disappointed because this product is just so good. But then it has parabens, and parabens are known to cause cancer when they're used over a long period of time. So it's something that you shouldn't be applying to your face. But yeah, this Doll Light Duo by Doll Beauty is a freaking amazing highlighter. And this is probably gonna be like one of the last times I use a TBH because I'm trying to be a little more health conscious and avoid all those like nasty ingredients. But oh, Doll Beauty, can you guys please just remake this product? Toss out the parabens, mark up the price a little. Like, I will still buy a shit ton of it. Can you please? This is my absolute favorite product. If anybody who knows anybody who works at Doll Beauty, let them know. Please. Parabens are bad for you. Yeah, taking some onto my brush. This is a Supernova. I'm gonna really dabble that in. Um, and then I'm gonna slightly tap it onto. Ooh, you see that? Tap it onto the high points of my face. Oh, that's just so good. Oh. Yeah, Doll Beauty, why you gotta play me like this? Like, why do you gotta put parabens in there? Ugh, I love this shit. say this for like special occasions but still I like to wear this on the daily because I like being a glow hoe so yeah don't be please 
pencil side of it. I'm going to go in and dip it into Supernova and apply it to the tip of my nose. Just a little, just a little dot like that. And just very gently down the center of my nose. Cats are chasing each other around the house and they're just causing a ruckus. Still with the pencil brush, still going in with Supernova. Still going in a bit. I'm just gonna apply it to the very corner of my eyes. I like doing this before the rest of my eyeshadow because when I have my eyeshadow on there and it blends out, it looks really pretty. Part of Supernova, I'm gonna apply it to the arch of my under the arch of my brow, just the highlighter to blend it out. on the eyes this is what I use like almost all the time this is always my go-to eye palette this is the Too Faced Sweet Peach palette I love this palette it just has quite the variety of colors it has all the brown tones that you'll need to do a neutral eye it has a really cute poppy pink colors that I like it also has like some darker shades you want to do like a nice smoky eye of it also has a black and also it has these really nice transition colors as well and base colors so it's a really versatile um, palette. I just love this thing. It smells so freaking good too. You did a good job on this Too Faced. I like it. But yeah, so we're just gonna go in with a kind of like a blendy brush. This is a Morphe M441. Just gonna go in and apply some peaches or like pick up some peaches and cream and apply that as a light wash all over my eyelid just so that it helps out. It helps my next color blend out really nicely. It also acts as a pretty nice transition this shade face, whatever. I don't know the terms yet. <laughs> Unqualified as F to be a big artist. So and then what I do next is take a Morphe M433 and take dip it into puree. This is one of my favorite eyeshadow shades. It's just a very nice, warm sienna tone. And I'm gonna add that to the corner of my eyelid. And just kind of pop that in there. I'm gonna add some on to the other side. What you're gonna do now is just take whatever's left on the brush and like blend it out. Some glue on my lashes. These are the I don't 
have a box for these anymore. I'm just gonna hold them up. These are the Eyelier Luxe Silk Lashes. I love them because they have a really good curl of them and they've lasted me so long. Okay, and the eyelash glue I'm using is just the Kiss Strip Lash Adhesive. It is made with it. Alo, Alo, and it is formaldehyde free. Just want to be careful because a lot of eyelash glues nowadays uses formaldehyde, which is really bad. Uh, formaldehyde is known as a preservative um, that they use on your body after you die so that your, I don't know, so that when you're in your coffin, your body doesn't start rotting and stuff. So you don't really want to use that, you know. You don't want to use it. Um, it's really bad for you. So yeah, try to look for products about all the nasty ingredients in it, in it like formaldehyde, parabens, sulfates, um, aluminum. Just be careful out there. So using the, um, you can really pair just like any of the beauty lists. My lip color changes every day, just depending on what I feel like. But I'm just gonna use this um, Kat Von D Everlasting Lip Liner in Bow and Arrow and line my lips. I really like just overlining my lip. Not everybody does it, but just line it how you please. And the lip gloss that I've been really loving lately is the uh, Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink in Amazonian. I wore this to Coachella too. And it lasts all day long. Does it not come off? And I may have overlined my lips a little too much, too much today, but you know what? I had to mess up on something. I didn't mess up my eyebrows today, so I guess I messed up on my lips, but whatever. I popped on my eyelashes and I realized that my camera wasn't working, so yes, you're gonna douse yourself in this now. Yes. Well, let's look. This is my everyday glowy look. Um, yeah. Do you guys like this? Do you guys want more makeup tutorials? Well, then you better hit the subscribe button down below. Yeah, so if you do like my videos, please do give me a big thumbs up and hit the subscribe button to see more. Other than that, thank you so much for watching. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this one. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!